Hi, this is Hassan Korani. In this video, we are going to continue our chapter about equations of straight lines for grade 10. The objectives here are to find the relative position of two straight lines, to find the coordinates of the point of intersection of two straight lines, and to calculate the distance from a point to a straight line. In this part, we are going to see the relative position, how to find the relative position of two straight lines, which means the relation between two straight lines. In different forms, you know, a straight line has, the equation of a straight line has three forms, reduced, standard, and parametric. In the first case, we are given two straight lines, D and D prime, both equations whose equations are written in reduced form as you see. If A equal A prime as you know, then D will be parallel to D prime. The second case, if A equal A prime and B equal B prime, then D and D prime, in fact, they have the same equations and they are confounded or coincide. They, in fact, represent the same straight line. If a does not equal a prime, then sure d and d prime are secant or intersecting, as you know. In addition, if a times a prime equal to minus 1, then d is perpendicular to d prime. Okay. Now, in standard Cartesian form, given the straight lines, d ux plus Vy plus W equal to 0 and D prime of equation U prime X plus V prime Y plus W prime equal to 0. Where these uh, parameter U prime V prime W prime U V W are known. The first case if U over U prime equal V over V prime equal W over W prime it means the coefficients in D, in equation of D, and the coefficients of equation of D prime are proportional, then D and D prime are confounded. In the second case, if U over U prime equal V over V prime, and the result of these doesn't equal to W over W prime, then D, okay, we can deduce that D and, and D prime are parallel. If u over u prime does not equal v over v prime, you just calculate u over u prime and compare the answer with v over v prime. If they are not equal, then sure d and d prime are secant or intersecting. In addition, if u u prime plus v times v prime equal to zero, this indicates that d and d prime are parallel. We can apply, use these conditions in order to directly deduce the relative position of two straight lines. Note that we may use the direction vectors of D and D prime. If you use the direction vectors of D and D prime and study the relative position, relative, uh, uh, the relation between their direction vectors, we can also uh, determine the relative position. For example, uh, if the direction vector of D and the direction vector of D prime are, let's say, orthogonal, which means their dot, dot product or scalar product is zero. This indicates that D and D prime are perpendicular. But it's preferable to use these relations to directly deduce the relative position of two straight lines. This is about the standard Cartesian form. If both are in standard form, what about if they are? In parametric, we will see later after this example. Study the relative position in each case. If we are given two straight lines L and L prime, as you see, they are written in standard form. Let's find the relative position of two straight lines. Please pause and think this video and try to answer the question alone. Solution. First, we find u over u prime. As you see, u is 1, v is minus 3, and w is 1. u prime is minus 2, 
v prime is 6 and w prime is minus 4. First, find u over u prime, which is 1 over minus 2, which is minus half, and v over v prime, which is also 3 over minus 3 over 6, which is minus half, and w over w prime, which is minus 1 over 4. And this indicates that u over u prime equals v over v prime, but doesn't equal to w over w prime. Hence, L is parallel to L prime. This is it. Let's see another example. Given D 